Hi, art friends. It's Miss Taunton. I am so sorry I'm not at school today, but I still can do art with you through this video. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make our very own dancing Frankenstein. So you just read the book, Frank was a monster who wanted to dance. And in that story, he did a lot of silly things. He um, put ants in his pants and he put his shoes on that were made in France and he drove to the theater and he started to dance and all of his parts started to fall off his brain and his eyeball and his arm and he scared the audience so he's a really silly monster and but he really loves to dance and he thinks he dances really well which he does have some cool moves so we're going to make our very own frank and we're going to need a few shapes at our desks the first thing we're going to need is this shape right here um which is what it's a rectangle. And then after that rectangle, you'll need four more rectangles. We're gonna uh, use a really long, two really long rectangles. So one, two, and then two shorter long strips of rectangles. So we have five rectangles in total. Um, next, we're going to need two circles and those are gonna be for his eyes. And what about this shape? It's a blue, oval and that's going to be what do you think that's going to be used for frank has a blue nose and then something that the story talked about was his shoes which were purple shoes made in france so you're going to get two little shoes so let me go ahead and show you how to build your frankenstein so you guys can take your little frank home today all right okay so the first thing we're going to need is our green rectangle and a glue stick. So we're going to add the eyes first. So here are two circles. And now remember that when you guys use your glue, you're going to just put a little bit on the piece that you're using. So I'm gonna put some on my yellow circle. I'm not gonna put it all over my rectangle because then that's just too much glue. So that's going to go right here. And remember to rub your paper because we just don't stick it. And please don't bang your desk either because that doesn't really help. Okay? All it does is make noise. So I'm gonna put glue on my paper and then stick the eyes on first. Rub, 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 rub. So I always rub the paper that way my pieces don't fall. But sometimes we just like to stick it and then it doesn't really stay on. All right, next thing I need is his nose. So I need my blue oval. hardest parts. I need my two long strips of paper. I'm going to put both of those together like this and what we're going to do is make an accordion fold. So like a fan fold. So um, it's going to look like a zigzag. So how we do that is when we hold our paper you're going to fold a little bit down and then you're going to fold your paper back. Down and see how I Press on the top here, and then I hold on to here and hold it all back. So you're gonna make a zigzag with your green long rectangle shapes. All right, so since I did both of them together, when I open them up, they're both done. See how that looks like a zigzag? All right, now I'm going to put some glue on here on the and this is going to become Frankenstein's leg so one is going to go here and I like to glue it behind the paper but if you do it up in the front that's okay so behind the paper right there rub 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 okay the last two strips are his arms and you can make his arms point up like this or go down like this or maybe you want them just to stick straight out to the sides. So your choice on how you want your monster's arms to look, I'm just gonna stick them out right here. I 
am missing something, and I think I forgot to mention this in the, um, the first part of the video. So what we're missing is Frankenstein's hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Okay, so here is his hat. It's like a little bowler hat. And with his hat, I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue right on the brim of the hat. So this rectangle shape, I put some glue on there. And then I'll stick that right on top of Frank's head. Okay. Our last step, I'm gonna pull this up and I need to add his shoes. So just put some glue right on the end here. And in here. Rub that in. And now I have all of my pieces glued. So, he really doesn't look like Frankenstein yet because we need to add details. I'm gonna use my crayons to draw in everything else that I need. So I'm gonna use a black crayon to make the inside of his eye the pupil. And I can make a little mouth. So I want my Frankenstein to be happy, so I'm gonna make a smiley face. So in the story, there's a part where it says his, his head began to unzip. So I'm gonna draw a line and then a zigzag to make that look like a zipper. And then maybe I'll put another scar down here and I'll just put some lines. So your choice on how you wanna make your um, Frankenstein's face look. The last thing I wanna do is put some ants crawling on him. Since he poured ants down his pants, I'm gonna draw some ants. And all I do is I draw a circle and an oval and then I draw three legs on each side. Maybe I want one on his leg all the way down here. Let me pull this up. And there you have it. Our dancing Frankenstein is all done. So now it's your turn to work on your Frankenstein. Have fun, guys. <laughs>